What's up guys? Welcome back. And this time we are here to talk about putting. Um, um, why weren't we filming that? Um, <laughs> what just happened? It accidentally went in. The biggest thing with putting is knowing what stance you're gonna have, how you're gonna throw the putter, what putter you're using, and learning the weight transfer. So starting out with just a couple basics. When you're lining up with the basket, you want your shoulders square to the basket, and you constantly want to imagine lines. This golf's all about lines. And what I mean by this is if you imagine a piece of paper cutting you down in half, you know, this imaginary plane that's going through the center of you straight to the pole. And you always want to stay on that when you're putting. You have two different stances. You have the straddle stance or the straddle putt where your legs are right next to each other, or you have the stagger where your back leg, your left leg is behind you a little bit. I personally am not gonna get too much into straddle putts or push putts because I'm personally a stagger spin putter. That is the more dominant putt, I believe, um, but we're gonna get into that. So talking about the power, just like everything else in disc golf, it starts from the ground up. So with the drive where your body, your weight shift is shifting from your back leg to your front leg, it's the exact same thing, except we're pushing the, the, the power forward rather than kind of sideways with the throw. So we have all of my weight is on my back leg and I'm lining up with the basket. And when I'm ready to release, all of my weight is shifting forward and my hand is shaking the basket. Everything stays on this straight line. So I'm pulling back straight, all my weight's shifted backwards. And now I'm gonna jump forward. I'm not gonna jump, but I'm pushing my disc forward on this straight line. Now, something that's different with putting and driving is that if you've ever seen in my driving video, you have to keep your wrists locked when you're driving and that's opposite for putting. So what I mean by wrist locked, when you're driving, you want your wrist to stay super flat and you never wanna break your wrist. You have to keep it totally tight and locked in the whole time. When you're putting, it's the total opposite. When you're putting, you actually rely on your wrist flick to put some spin on the disc. So when you do this, I usually recommend that you start with the holding the putter at about two o'clock. So for me, it's a backwards for you, but for me, this is at two o'clock. And when you come down, I curl my wrist in just a little bit. So it ends up being at about 12 or 11 o'clock. So I come down and I'm loading on my back leg. And when I come up, now my wrist has done this. So my wrist alone isn't gonna put enough spin on the disc, but because I'm putting the weight transfer into it, now the disc has enough power to travel the distance that it needs to go. Now, something to also keep in mind is aiming points. So typically I'm aiming at the center of the basket, horizontally and vertically, both ways. Now, the farther I go out, it's kind of like a bow and arrow situation. The farther you go out, the higher you have to aim, because if you imagine this little, you know, the trajectory, if I'm putting from 30 feet at the same power that I'm putting from 15 feet, I'm gonna hit the cage rather than if I aim higher, then now it has a little bit more air time under it for it to glide farther into the basket from the 30 feet. A couple more important things when you're considering putting is aiming points in the wind. So in headwind, the disc's gonna lift and in tailwind, the disc's gonna drop. So if you're putting in headwind, I normally take my center point that I normally aim at and going into a headwind, I'll drop that about two or three chain links. Depending on how far I am, sometimes I'm even aiming, you know, just above the basket line. And that's because I know that the headwind's gonna lift my disc. So I'm aiming lower and lo and behold, by the time the putter gets to the disc, sometimes the headwind's so strong, it almost hits the top band, but hopefully it goes in. Same thing with the tailwind. Since the tailwind's gonna push your disc down, you wanna make sure that you're aiming a little higher. So the center that I normally aim at, I'm gonna pull it up a few chain links. 
If I'm past 30 feet, I'm usually aiming at the band, but knowing that the tailwind's gonna push it down, you have to commit to, you know, not technically aiming at the chain, but to aim higher, knowing that the disc is gonna fall into the basket. I hope that was super helpful. That's all I have on putting for now. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.